Hi, how you doing? Uh, my name is Mr. Houston. Today I'm going to just give a couple minutes to explain the next lab that involves moles, and this is really in two parts. So in the first part, you will be given a container, much like the one I happen to have right here. Okay, so as an example, here's container, uh, let's see, container B. Okay, so you'd write down container B, and you will be given six potential chemicals to choose from of what the white powder is in here. Don't open the lid under any circumstances whatsoever. Your goal then is, uh, based on the number of moles that's written here, um, see if you can figure out which of the six powders or which of the five that you have. And you can have some tools to use. Um, you'll have a list of five to six chemicals to choose from. And you will also get a get an empty bottle. Okay, here's the, the one that's empty. You can get scales, you can get anything else. You just can't open the bottles. That's part one. Always, always, always show your work, <clears throat> label all numbers. Again, I won't be offended, pretend I'm stupid. Here's what part two is. You're gonna pick a number between probably like one and 50 something. I've got a ton of these bottles. These are called mole bottles, okay? And once you pick a number, you will receive a bottle that looks like this. Okay, so this would be number 37. Again, don't open the bottle. You will be given information about it. So for instance, you might be given uh, the, the number of moles in here. So you'd have to find the mass of this whole system. You might be given the number of, uh, and you, you will know the chemical, okay? You will know the chemical. You might be given the mass of uh, the entire thing and the mass of the bottle and say, find the number of particles, find the number of moles. Uh, you might be given the number of particles, find the, the mass, find the moles, one of those. Uh, you, again, always, 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 if you don't show your work with labels and units, it's wrong. You have to, to do that. Now, once you have your answer, you'll come to the teacher, um, and whether if you find the number of particles, we'll, we can check it instantly. If you find the number of grams of the whole entire thing. We can solve for that. Um, just put it on a scale. And if you tell us uh, the number of moles, again, we have a spreadsheet and we can check for that. Always, always, always units, labels, and work in every case. Thank you. Have a nice day.